Aloha friends, this is Rebecca from Mama's Treasures. This is a video of our thrift store adventures while we were on the island of Maui. And we visited almost all of them. There was a few that were not open or we simply couldn't find that we couldn't visit. But uh, this first one here was called the Rainbow Attic. And it was probably my favorite of all of the stores that we entered on the island and um, it was it was organized very nicely and they knew what they had so things were priced accordingly but there was some beautiful pieces to be found here uh, for decor and also very functional pieces and so I wasn't really looking for a whole lot because everything would have to come home in a suitcase and spoiler alert we didn't end up purchasing anything but it was super fun looking this store was a little bit uh, spendy for us but uh, they definitely had some great pieces and we'll show you some uh, as we go along but yeah this was our favorite store on the island and it is in the city of Kihei it's uh that's the city that we stayed in that's where our condo was that we stayed for the duration of our vacation we had a wonderful time in Maui um, we've been to Maui before so we visited some of our favorite spots but we had never done the thrift stores so that was something on our to-do list this time around this is a very sad piece of Pyrex that had been through the dishwasher too often they had some great glass pieces in here in this showcase that purple vase there is actually uh, it said it was hand blown on the island so uh, beautiful piece there uh, just some other great pieces in this display case and um, I'm just showing you here another piece of glass uh, beautiful gold flex in that one um, there was a really pretty vintage purse then Jason spotted some um, Mexican pieces and there was a pair of these two cans but they were priced at $12 each so they stayed on the shelf but we admired them there I've never seen a two can before so to see the pair of them was quite nice and um, yes Jason hid the kitty on me but I spotted it anyway and I was admiring it here beautiful blue eyes on that piece and I saw another kitty this one was really heavy I don't know if it was carved out of quartz or what but it was so pretty uh, $20 on it though but I had to show it to Jason and he was playing with this uh, I don't it's some sort of a dispenser it was really neat how um, the marbles would come out of there but you could put candies or whatever you wanted in there I believe it was handmade and um, here is just some more pieces that were on the shelf very very collectible pieces in in this store I don't know where she would get her stock from but um, it was it was uh, really really nice and here's a glass paperweight $28 on this one it was super heavy I did put the kitty next to the one that Jason hit on me and I thought they could be on the shelf together there gang up on all the people coming to hide them on the next person this was a really cute carved i don't know antelope or something um not quite sure what kind of lightweight wood that would have been and then jason spotted this cute little turtle that probably would have come home with me if he didn't have a little chippy on his nose i loved his little head bobbing there and this was a really cute little asian bobblehead doll um, yeah just admiring her on the shelf there so we went to Maui this time around with um, my uh, husband's sister and her husband so my brother-in-law and sister-in-law so they they are the other folks in the video here that you see me talking with and uh, oh yes those those piggies there were being quite naughty on the shelf um, just some other really great pieces at the Rainbow Attic in Kiehe, Maui. And uh, here I spotted a great collection of Artisania Rinconada pieces. Some that I have never seen before, like the panda there and the camel. 
so many great pieces but they were priced at ten dollars each and of course this is uh, US funds so in Canadian I probably would have been spending $13 on each of those pieces so not enough for resale and I only collect the cat figurines so those stayed behind but I sure did admire them while we were in the store this is the other side of the store um, this uh, happens to be a 50% 50, 50 off yes 50% off shelves here there was some other really nice pieces that I was admiring and um, there was even some shelves of display that weren't for sale um, I think I do show it in the video there was some hands like a shelf of hands I don't know the owner must collect uh, beautiful hands and but they were not for sale here my sister-in-law is showing me this beautiful outfit and we were shopping for dresses for a luau that we would be attending um, in a couple of days and we thought maybe one of us should try that uh, beautiful silver piece on to rock at the luau but we we, we turned it down um, yeah so I'm just admiring this little draft here on the 50% off shelf but again, just still too spendy to take home. Um, but it was a really nice piece. You don't often see a giraffe. Here is that shelf of hands I was talking about. She even had a jadeite hand, but uh, sadly they were not for sale. So this is another store. This is the Salvation Army in Kihei. Um, not a whole lot to be found here, but uh, there was some nice little pieces that we were looking at here in this display case. Um, I was looking at the cute little animal figurines um, it's kind of hard to see through the glare of the glass but there's a cute little mouse and some cute little piggies that I was admiring This was a vintage plastic sewing kit, sewing basket. This store was very spacious to walk around in. You could definitely push a cart or a stroller. Um, they, they had lots of space and they even had a second room. And uh, I'm just looking through the shelves here, locals only, I thought that was kind of neat. Um, there were some pottery pieces at this store but again just uh, really need to see um, what gets donated on the island and mahalo for removing shoes I thought that was kind of neat could be a, a nice uh, piece for a condo this was a pottery trivet I believe It's a few uh, weeks since I filmed this, so it's kind of neat uh, watching back what I did see there. Um, and just to kind of remember, oh yeah, I saw that. These were uh, these were Jim Shore pieces. I, I've never seen the buildings. They are from the Heartland Creek, I believe, collection. And um, I think there was, so this was, it looked like a country home. And then there was like a barn and a silo and a church. I looked them up on eBay when we got back to the condo that night. And the houses or the buildings uh, could fetch a, a pretty good pretty good sum on eBay. But 
Um, I think they were priced at $10 each. So if I would have been at home, I probably would have scooped those up. But uh, since they would have had to go in my suitcase, I did not. And here my husband um, is stunting. He's stunting at the Salvation Army in a wheelchair. You see what I have to put up with? Yeah. He's lucky he did not get kicked out. And uh, my sister-in-law is showing me this cute little pottery piece here. Um, uh, great pieces. They had lots of tables with, uh, with their product out, not just shelving, which was kind of neat. And uh, lots of space for my husband to stunt in his wheelchair. And uh, I like that they had their cups and saucers like taped together so that they couldn't be separated. Um, this was another nice pottery dish. Yeah, so this store was uh, set up really nicely as well. Um, there was a few of them that we, and you'll see um, in the duration of the video that were quite, um, they were doing the best that they, they could with the, the donations that they received and things like that. Um, this was a really nice glass stopper and decanter. Probably another piece I would have considered if we were at home but I did not want to take that home in my suitcase. I think this was recycled glass. I'm not certain on that. Really heavy piece of glass. I think it was a candle holder. Pottery piece, the dolphin for a handle. And I'm just showing you here, they had some linens in bins. And then we went to the Goodwill. This was in I believe this store is in Kahalui and I always refer to Kahalui as the airport city because that's where the airport is <laughs> that we fly in. We spotted this beautiful um, desk that was very um, island-like, very beautiful piece. Um, but the back, you, if you noticed when I was first walking up to it, the back was cut out of of it so that was really too bad that someone had butchered it but it was set up against a wall you wouldn't even notice that this row I think if I'm not mistaken um, screams target to me and I'm thinking that this Goodwill is supplied with targets uh, off-season items which is great but yeah there was just a whole bunch of new in package items in that aisle and if I would have been at home, I would have probably loaded up on those uh, bubble envelopes as well. <laughs> but I didn't want them to take up uh, so much room in my suitcase. They are light, of course. I wouldn't have been overweight on the luggage, but uh, they, they weren't priced amazingly either. And uh, they just would have taken up too much space in my suitcase. This is a beautiful glass pitcher has a nice applied green handle on it. Um, I think this is the store that had a whole bunch of Ray Dunn pieces as well. And I don't know if Target supplied them with those or where they got them from, but they were brand new pieces of Ray Dunn. Um, yes, here we go. Like this one is a honey bunny canister. I would have loved to take some of these pieces home. But again, U.S. conversion and we're flying. So it was just a lot of fun to look around and see what there was. This I would have taken home too if we were at home. I would have, I would have scooped this up so fast. I think it was only $4.99. And uh, yeah, it's new in the box, the e.l.f. mugs. And plastic Ray Dunn. I had never spotted or touched spotted uh, plastic Ray Dunn. So this was this was a new piece to me. Um, it says drink, and of course it's a pitcher. That would have been nice for a summer table. And a hop to it and hot chick mugs. Super cute. They were priced at $4.99, which isn't bad at all. 
but they stayed for someone else and there was some Disney mugs here on the shelf this cute little Mickey one that one was uh, $2.99 so that would have been a great scoop And then there was some patriotic uh, pieces of radon. This, I guess it would be a planter with a tray, an under tray. Really nice piece. And some dishes, some plates. So much radon. Now this is another Salvation Army that we went into. This one is in Lahaina and this is the one that I was talking about that they're really, they're doing the best that they can with what they get donated. And their uh, space was really, really small. They had um, an open air section of the store. So it was just like fenced in, but it was open air. All the product is exposed to the air and uh, this is the inside of the store though. It was just a little old space and um, this, this portion of the store that I'm in right now is actually the part that's open air and outside. So everything in here um, is exposed to the air which is which is something coming from Saskatchewan so strange to me that they can have open air hotels and open air restaurants because our weather just would not accommodate that <laughs> with our winters and our bug situation in summer they would just not work there was some there was some nice pieces in here but uh, again I just uh, I left everything on the shelf and um, we were just having fun looking around. So there's just a little bit of footage left of our thrifting adventures in Maui. I hope you had fun coming along with us. Remember to tune in to our weekly live sales that happen every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern. We would love to see you in the chat. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Aloha.